watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. You know, many of you viewers ask me, Cycle Cruiser, why do you ride a super sport out here on the streets? You know, why don't you get a cruiser? You know, why why a super sport? You don't do a lot of speeding out here on the streets. So what's what's your point of having a super sport on the streets? Well, I'm going to answer that for you in this Moto blog. But first off, let's start this bike up. And I want, want you to hear one reason, one of the reasons why I love having a Super Sport. Check it out. CBR. I tell you guys, it's nothing like the sound of an inline four. Especially with the hyperflow pipe on there, guys. I mean, come on. Listen to this. Does that sound sick or what? I fucking love that sound, man. Shit. That's one of the that's one of the reasons why I love having a super sport. First off, that's not number one, but it's on my list of reasons why I love having a super sport out here on the streets. Now let's do this little motor vlog and we'll talk about it and I'll tell you why I love having a super sport out here on the streets. First off, the power that you get off the line with these bikes. Shit, man! Anyways, the power that you get with these bikes off the line, 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, man. That's like my main number one reason why I got a Super Sport for the streets. The CBR 250R that I had, man, that bitch took like what? Like 9 seconds or 7 seconds from 0 to 60. <sighs> like sh slow as shit off the line. It was cool to learn on that bike and help me build my confidence. But after a while, man, the bike was just too damn slow for me, man. Seriously. Off, especially off the line more than anything and on the highway. And us, that also brings up another point here is the power, the passing power that you get on the highway with this bike is awesome. You want to see the power on the 600 double R, baby? The CBR 600 double R. There you go, baby. All you need is the 600, baby. That's all. You don't need a leader bike, man. But if you want the leader bike, get the fucking leader bike. I mean, the, the 600 or the 1000, either one is powerful on the highway. And uh, I feel that the extra power that this bike has can really power you out of any type of emergency situation should you need to use it. And uh, also, but number really, to be honest with you, number, probably number one, should I say, is that the, I'd say not number one, but number two, I already said number one, the power. But number two for me is the weight of the bike. These super sport bikes are very lightweight. The power to weight ratio on these bikes are awesome. We're talking this fire blade here with the hyperflow pipe only weighs about 336 pounds. You know, with the stock pipe on here was 441 pounds wet. But, you know, even stock at 441 pounds wet is really, really light. And also the 600 double R that I have uh, with the Two Brothers pipe only weighs a tick over 400 pounds. 
and it, I love a lightweight bike because you can really throw them around and uh, and also should you drop your bike it's easy to pick up you know Like some of those real big heavy hulking cruisers where you almost have to stand backwards and do a squat to, to get the bike back up but uh, and uh, as far as comfort a lot of you guys ask me say you know the super sport for you is really not that comfortable that's because for those of you guys that, that ride like the cruisers and whatnot, you get into a, a situation where your body gets used to that being in an upright seating position so that when you get on a super sport and you bend over a little more, that it's irritating for you because you're not used to it. But once you, if you ride a super sport for a long time, you actually become accustomed to it and really enjoy that, that seating position. But you can change the CD position up any time on a Super Sport, which is awesome. If you sit up close to the tank, and if you take your left hand off the, the bar, you can sit in a 100% completely upright CD position. And for those of you who say you're compromising your safety by taking your left hand off, bullshit. You still got access to your, your front brake and your rear brake, you know, with your right foot. And then within a split second, bam, you can put your, your hand right, you know, back on the bar. There's actually a guy out there that's racing with one arm, man. So you go tell him he needs two arms to stay safe on a motorcycle. <laughs> you know, only, only noobs say shit like that. You know, the CBR, my CBR 600 rr and this Fireblade, the seat is really, really comfortable on this bike. Really comfortable, man. And, uh, like, I've ridden all day on this bike, on the, on the Fireblade, excuse me, the CBR 600RR. As you guys know, I rode all the way down uh, to West Virginia border. I rode the Triple Nickel starting in Zanesville that ends at the West Virginia border. I actually rode it all the way to the West Virginia border, and then I rode it back. And I spent over 12 hours on my bike that day. Over 500 miles in one day on that 600 RR, and I hated to put the bike away. I didn't have no butt problems, no back problems, no wrist problems, no nothing. I had no problems whatsoever. Uh, but, you know, and on this fire blade, you know, I bought it in Pennsylvania and rode it all the way home to Ohio, and I loved every second of it and hated to put my bike away that night. So, you know, I can't speak for. You know, the other super sports that, uh, like the R6 or Ducati, which tend to be more aggressive. But there's a lot of guys out there that ride those bikes all over the country. There was a guy that rode a, 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 excuse me, a Ducati Panigale all the way from the west coast of California, all the way to the east coast and back to the west coast. He, and he chronicled his whole trip. And he put it on one of the forums. I think he even made a book on it. Uh, if I can find a link to that form, I'll include it in the uh, comment section of this video. In Ducati, that's probably one of the least comfortable super sports out of all the bikes. From what I hear, uh, you got a super aggressive riding position. And a lot of people say you get a lot of heat at the seat with that bike. But, you know, it's it's all about your tolerance and your, your comfort pref uh, preference. For me... I feel very comfortable on these CDRs, very comfortable. And uh, like I said, I just take one one hand off and I'm in a completely upright seat position. I'm sitting up here like I'm on a cruiser right now. But uh, but the passing power on this bike is, is beautiful. The, it's you know lightweight, it's handling. Like I said, this bike, in my opinion, it, it feels, it handles like a 250 to me. It's just really, really super flickable. In my opinion, it's like this Super Sport, especially the CBR 600 rr and this Fireblade, is an all-in-one bike, man. You can use it as a sport touring bike, a cruising bike, you know, a race bike. 
It's your all-in-one bike, and for the price, really, it's the best bang for your buck, man. I mean, these bikes are cheap compared to, look at, like, the, the uh, Harley Breakout, which I really think is awesome. I mean, that bike is, like, like uh, $20,000, man, and the bike weighs, like, freaking, what does it weigh, like, 750 pounds or close to 800 pounds? And, uh, you know, and this bike will smoke that bike off the line. We'll smoke the bike at, you know, off the line, on the highway, or any application. It handles better than that uh, Harley Breakout. Which, I think the Harley Breakout is awesome. Don't get me wrong. It's a bike you just... Actually, I'm thinking about buying one. Uh, it's a nice Sunday cruiser. You know, you polish up in the garage. Look at it. It's beautiful. You know, awesome bikes. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on the bike. But as far as for the value that you get, really these super sports are the better value, in my opinion. And uh, it's just your all-in-one bike for me, and that's why I love the super sport for the street. But like I said, if I had it my way, I'd have all the different types of bikes if I had a garage big enough, because I just love all the motorcycles and power sports out there. So I'm not hating on any of the bikes out there, but in my opinion, this is the best bang for your buck, guys. Especially these CBRs are just awesome. But uh, that's all I have for you guys. But for you new riders, I have a playlist especially for you. And you potential riders, go to my website at cyclecruiser.com. Click on the menu bar, My Videos. And click on the sub-menu for new riders. And that's all the videos that I've done. A lot of the videos that I've done that I, I feel are good for new riders and potential riders show you all the ins and outs of motorcycles but that's all i have for you guys so until next time hey don't forget to like and subscribe <laughs> welcome to psycho cruises click the go links just click on the pictures below to go to my recommended videos and my social media sites also don't forget to visit my blog and store at psychocruiser.com if you have any trouble clicking on these links, they are also provided in the info section of this video. Thank you, and subscribe today. Hey guys, check out my new channel where I talk about anything and everything, not just motorcycle related. Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlog.